COVID-19 has been doing to the world. We have been isolated and spending most of our time in front of a screen. Think how the virus has spread in every country and how the uncertainty has become part of our daily lives. However, have we thought about how this pandemic will affect globalization and international business during the next decade? It will definitely change and it already has because this is the opportunity to start doing things differently and to change our perspective of these topics that are completely related. We are going through a worldwide crisis that covers many dimensions, but personally, although I'm positive about it, I see this problematic in three main ways, technological, economical, and ethical. All of them converging to one point, the question of improvement of the adaptability that has just started and it will be developed and perfected in the next decade. Economically speaking, we are in a huge recession because due to COVID-19 restrictions, many productive activities have come to a standstill, interfering with the value chain, affecting especially to those countries that depend on international business. Many enterprises have been going bankrupt. The number of unemployed people has been increasing and so has poverty, leading the countries and the world to experience a GDP decline. Actually, the role of government's money injection has been and is going to be critical in the next few years to bring the economy back on track, first internally and then to continue with the tighter road. And that's why the coming years are crucial for the economic development, especially in the international business. Investments and net exports have fallen in many countries, so in the next few years we will have to take huge risks if we want to reach the top again. But this time it will be different. Many markets have closed, but the new normality has also created new ones, diversifying them in a great way. And that trend will continue just like e-commerce has expanded this year. But we will also have to learn how to make our value chain more efficient, so that it doesn't stop completely when there is a restriction in mobilization. Regarding to the technological way, the pandemic was the kickstart needed for technology to become the main part of the future of business. The social distance had made telework in the most suitable way of communication and indeed of doing business for the majority of the enterprises and video calls in general to connect people with each other and it has been working well so it is expected that in the near future personal interaction especially in business abroad will be still online because it also reduces expenses dramatically something worrying is that technology will also reduce costs by reducing the number of human resources because people will be more expendable due to automation. Also, the restriction in mobilization will end where the technology can take us on global business and globalization will just improve exponentially. And that will be the basis of the next decade of global business because technological advancement will continue to take place and have many effects, positive and negative. But our duty is not to allow this get out of hand. That leads us to the ethical dimension. Because we will have to start being more conscious of our acts as citizens and businessmen of a globalized world and take the responsibility of what that means, thanks to what we have learned this pandemic year. We will need to start thinking about more than just in ourselves when taking decisions on different topics, not just for our generation, but focusing on the future ones. That's why we must start taking action regarding our environment and business around the world will then finally turn sustainable but profitable. Although it feels like the world has stopped for a while, international business and globalization haven't. It has been just a slowdown in the growth of new ideas and ways to work this new normality out, giving more diversification and flexibility to business and through questioning globalization and international dependence. This will be taken more slowly and with more care and awareness. We are in a crisis now, but it won't last forever. And we have to take good advantage of it, so in a decade's time, we could be able to look back and see how this pandemic made us grow as a globalized world and more human and compassionate beings.